Coach Sassone is that rare combination. He is both a realist and a visionary. He lives in today's world, yet strives to show us the wonder of it. He sees beauty in the most unlikely and unrewarding places. Even on the site of a San Pedro scrap metal yard, Sassone can discern the interplay of light, texture, and form that he will later resolve into a shimmering, glowing canvas, revealing to us beauty where we may have seen ugliness before. This is not unusual in a painter like Sassone, who, as a very young man, was forced to face both the spiritual and physical ordeal of the terrifying destruction by flood of his native Renaissance city of Florence, Italy. The images of those days do not recede lightly. If anything, they tend to spur him on in his life's work to express his vision in paint. It does not concern him in the least that many of his contemporaries are pop artists and non-objective abstractionists. What he paints, he is confident about because it comes from his heart and his soul. His overriding concern is to capture the moment in brilliant light and to communicate his vision to others. He does not feel that the world today is so chaotic that he must present it in those terms. He likes to relate to people, the human element, and to have a continuity with the past. Marco Sassoni is constantly aware of those subtle changes in contrast and form to be found in the infinite play of nature, letting it lead him into rapid and instinctive sketches that he will later expand into full symphonies of harmony, color, and light. Marco studied at the Fine Arts Academy in Florence with Silvio Lafredo. Lafredo said of Sassoni's work, he chooses the elements of his landscapes with remarkable confidence. His sense of construction, his taste for space, the contrasts of light and shadow, and above all, his correct sense of values are spontaneously combined in his painting. Art historian Donaldson Hoop says, his work pursues a consistency and a rationale that speak of his having achieved a harmony between the experiences of life and the dictates of art. The result has been a highly personal kind of painting that owes no allegiance to any vogue. to paint. It just happened. I always got good grades for my art in school. Everybody always wanted me to study for a career, uh, a steady job. And then we had that big flood. Florence was heavily destroyed. The water rose so quickly, we didn't have the time to, to save anything. All the great art treasures were covered in 20 feet of water. It was a disaster. All the cars were swept into piles by the pushing current. I love Florence, but uh, it was really a terrible time to be in.
it's natural what I'm doing. Art expresses itself. You cannot learn to have a talent at school. Everybody must express themselves, open up their eyes and look around and see. Because that is what art is all about. See the beauty surrounding us.
1214, Marco Sassoni, Venetian Windows, 1214. We've got several bids on this stop. We'll start the bidding, please, at $800, please. 800 to start it. 800, thank you. 900, 1,000 here. Now 1,100, 1,100, 1,200 against you. Now 1,300. At 1,200, now 1,300. Sassoni's work reflects the mood and qualities of our times, yet reminding us of the eternal relationship between man and his environment and nature. His unmistakable style and sensuous brushwork set him apart as a contemporary artist of immense talent and vision. He seems naturally endowed with a gift to translate the liquidity and light of a landscape into the most lyrical and vibrant brushwork on canvas. Sassoni has that special power and insight that enables him to capture the intensity of the moment with brush strokes as precise as those of a surgeon's scalpel, creating images of such magnitude and originality as to leave us in awe of the sudden beauty that confronts us. The powerful personal style and bold poetic colors dominate. This is truly the hallmark of Marco Sassoni.